How did you manage the transition of moving in with your partner? You know, I, I had never lived with anybody before. And, and it's weird because I'm approaching 42 years old. Now, of course, I've had girlfriends that I've stayed with for long periods of time, but never really truly living together. That's a whole different, whole different ball game. So Christy and I, you know, we really like each other and she's spectacular. And so that made things easy. But as we began to date, one of the things that helped me understand that we needed to live together was she lived way outside of town and I lived right down in the middle of town. And I knew that I, I was not going to be able to schlep all the way out to her place for the rest of time. I also knew that my cool place in the middle of town was kind of a dump and it would remind most people of their first apartment out of college. And so her moving in with me was really not an option. Plus it was really tiny. Well, uh, we had to go find something else. And, you know, it wasn't easy to do. And uh, I don't think that we thought that, you know, me moving into her space or her moving into my space would be bad for different reasons. You know, we actually feel like th this is our space and that we made the joint decision to, to move into a separate space together. I don't think we thought that through. But we did actually do a deep dive about what do we want out of life? You know, what do we want in our home? Do we want to be able to walk to stuff? Do we want to be able to ride our bikes nearby? Do we want really great access to a good, you know, grocery store? Because we, we both seem to eat, uh, fairly fresh food. So we're going to the grocery store, you know, several times a week. And as we did that, we figured out pretty quickly exactly where we needed to be. And the choices were pretty clear that w where we wanted to go. So then came the part about actually moving in together. And as we started to do that, I realized that I need to let go a little bit, that this is a sharing, that it is a merger of stuff, and that I need to get rid of some crap. So uh, the old framed posters of Dean Martin or Mel Torme or whoever it was that I had, you know, I had to think twice about are those going to go up on the wall or not. Also, it took a little negotiation about, um, you know, we have a two bedroom. So I said, I would like to be able to decorate the two bedroom. I thought that that meant that I would be decorating it with all of my stuff. <laughs> I realized later that that meant I'm decorating it with both of our stuff. <laughs> and I was a little shocked at first, but then I was okay. You know, that's just part of this whole deal. There does, does come a time, I think, for both of us when we have to put our foot down about something. And I think that for both of us, whether it's her being, um, her putting her foot down with me or me putting my foot down with her. We have to be polite, but firm. We have to be very clear. This is a boundary for us. Um, and the way to do that is to be polite, but firm when it, when it comes to a very clear boundary issue that we need to set, we're incredibly communicative, which is great. And it's made the merger phenomenal. Mm. But, um, now it's fun because we wake up in the morning and I make her coffee. She makes the bed. You know, we actually kind of share, um, you know, our chores in the morning or our things just to help each other out the door. And we also remember to tell each other that we love each other very much. And we're very good about making sure we know what's going on with each other's lives so that we can support one another. And we're both laid back about it. You know, we can't be too much in each other's business. And we both learned that pretty quickly. And, and that was really neat. 